Hey, um, about four months ago, I got the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon and uh, been doing a lot of 3D printing and I have a couple products that print uh, kind of regularly. So I uh, wanted a new project and I'm going to give an attempt to automate with a robotic arm, not the robot, but a robotic arm that'll sit here and uh, hopefully by the end of this, we'll open the door on the uh, printer, take out the old build plate or the printed build plate, move it, place it somewhere, and then grab a new one and put it in and then continue. So uh, this is going to be a uh, hopefully a tutorial or a step-by-step -step journey through um, setting up the printer to make all this work, setting up the robot, uh, receiving the robot, and all that. So with that being said, I just got a pretty huge box in the mail today, and uh, let me uh, show you here and open it up. All right, uh, this is my office here. You can see my computer uh, and then the 3D printer, and it's a pretty small office. This is my side, and then my wife's side is over here. Um, but with that being said, these, this ginormous box uh, just showed up. So uh, let me open it up, or actually I can show you right here. It is the Duobot, Duobot M1 Scara robot. Uh, so I was gonna do a little unboxing here. Um, I already cut the tape open, uh, just to save time. I don't even know if this box is gonna open all the way to fit here. Get this out of the way. All right, first here is the, I guess, oh, the parts list. Parts list, I can hear some bolts. I think there's, those are the mounting bolts for the, uh, for the end effector. So I'll grab that and put that here. Couple cables, um, ethernet cable. These two um, are the power cables. So this is the power side that goes into the robot. This goes into the power unit, and then this one goes into the power unit as well, but this one goes into the wall. So let's see what she looks like under here. Ooh. There she is. It's kind of cool. We have uh, this kind of white theme going on in here. Uh, with these and the walls and all that. Um, so he's going to move. The idea is to take the robot out. I'm going to make an aluminum kind of triangle stand, and the stand will go between here, flat, and then down the back. So it'll the, the main plate will bolt into the aluminum, and then the robot will sit right here, and then hopefully it has enough travel to swing over, open the door, come in, grab the build plate, swing around and then I'm going to make a, a platform here. So it'll put it on top and then it'll go down and grab the next sheet and then stick it in and then hopefully we can get it all automated and uh, working properly. So here is the power unit. Uh, it's in there pretty tight. So yeah, like I said, one side is the uh, AC coming in from the wall outlet down here, and then this is the going out that goes into the robot. And then there's an emergency stop switch with the cable. This plugs into the back of the robot as well. And then down here we have USB to, I think it, they call it a D9 or something, uh, connector, and then this is an archaic mini CD player, <laughs> or CD, with the RS-232 driver on it, which I'm not going to be using, um, one, because my computer doesn't have a CD-ROM drive, uh, and two, because I'll just leave it hooked up to the USB, but let me get this out and show it to you outside of the box.
All right, uh, there she is. Um, so that's roughly where it's going to sit. It's going to scoot over maybe two or three inches, uh, which will give it more room in here to actually get to the door and get to the build plate. Um, inside, when it opens the door, the build plate's only an inch back from the glass, so uh, I realistically probably only have to move it about two inches over. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to build an angled bracket that goes in between this, behind the back, and then flat mount for the mounting points that are on here. Um, and that'll sit on that aluminum bracket. Um, and then I'm going to build kind of like a rack structure here with when the finished build plate's done, it'll trigger the robot. The robot will go pick it up, drop it on there, and then it'll grab the next one. Um, so there it is, uh, right where it's going to sit. All right, uh, so I got an unbox, got on the shelf here. Um, so there's a couple things, the Dualbot M1 uh, Scar robot, and then there's an M1 Pro. Uh, I got the M1. The only major differences, and I can post those here, um, the only major differences, I believe, are some of the movements in the joints, and then I believe the M1 Pro, which doesn't list in the features, uh, has a different kind of interface, uh, which is utilizes the, like a newer software, and uh, I believe probably better encoders or something like that. Um, but I went with the M1, so I, I believe it'll do the job. I got it at a pretty good deal, um, and uh, so that's where we go from here. The only slight issue I'm having or seeing is that the current software for the M1 uh, runs on a PC. So I will, uh, I have a Mac mini here for my main computer, but I will uh, have to pull out my old uh, Microsoft Surface Pro and it'll be a, I already wiped it clean, it'll be a dedicated robot uh, interface now, which is kind of cool. Um, and then it just, the robot plugs into the USB port and uh, directly interlinks, but uh, once I get the software loaded, um, we can, I'll go through, well first my next video plan is to make the aluminum fixture, get this mounted properly, and then get it all plugged in, we'll get the software running, get it up, and uh, start uh, communication between the two, and then I will uh, kind of get into making the code to make it work, and then also I gotta design the like tray that'll catch the old or the finished build plate and then hold the new uh, empty build plates that could swap over. Um, and then lastly, I got to build all the kind of automation stuff for making the whole system work and somehow getting the printer to communicate to the robot to tell um, the robot that it's done printing. Um, I have some ideas. I know I got to alter some of the code that's in the slicer program, which is pretty easy for this, but uh, that is the plan is to hopefully not completely automate, but automate the uh, the Bamboo Labs uh, X1 carbon printer I got here. So uh, thanks for coming along. Uh, I think this is going to be a pretty cool series, and uh, I appreciate uh, you guys following. And uh, if you subscribe and click on them, I'm going to make a playlist specifically for this uh, build. So uh, let me know if you have any questions or any ideas in the comments. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching.